All right, hello once again, everyone. Original Blood Ace, I'm back. That's right, it's been like a week uh, since I did a video. I know it's been a bit of an absence, but to be quite honest, I have just not been in the mood to do videos, not even slightly. Uh, been doing a little bit of stuff, a little bit busy. Uh, yeah, but just, you know, ever since Nintendo kind of killed away my uh, <laughs> ability, to, ability to be easily... Uh, happy and everything, I've just not been motivated at all. Plus, not that there was that much of stuff to talk about uh, to begin with in the past week, but as it says here, uh, Capcom are having their profit forecast after poor sales in the mobile market. Now, you might remember back when uh, Monster Hunter 4 came out in Japan last year did extremely, extremely well. What was it, in like four days it sold, uh, what was it, two million copies in four days or something like that? But it sold very well, as it should have, and then Capcom went and spent the entire profit that they made off of that into making a new studio that would make smartphone games. <laughs> uh, and now it's finally coming back and biting Capcom hard in the ass, that's for sure. Uh, because Capcom has announced ahead of its annual financial results that it will revise its current profits proje er, projections, not predictions, uh, by more than 50%. Despite an increase in profits from their famed Monster Hunter franchise, the company has issued a statement to have their profit forecast after underwhelming sales in both the mobile market and Monster Hunter Frontier G, the online game which is exclusive to Japan. Which is a bit surprising, but maybe that's because there's so many Monster Hunter games in Japan. You got Monster Hunter Frontier G, there's uh, Monster Hunter 4, soon this year will be Monster Hunter f uh, 4G or whatever. <laughs> uh, and then there was that trailer they showed off with Monster Hunter 4GG, which was like a new weapon or whatever. Anyway, uh, maybe there's too much Monster Hunter and not enough Mega Man, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, another reason is probably because that's exclusive to Japan, that Monster Hunter game. Maybe if they spread that, uh, if they brought it over to North America then it would do well, especially if it was on the Wii U, um, which it is in Japan. But anyway, back to the main topic here is with the decision with their mobile games. Now they're learning that they should not have dabbled with that. What they don't seem to get, people who play smartphone crap want something that they can play for 15 minutes at most. You know, when they're waiting for a bus, when they're waiting for a plane, uh, you know, just a time waster, basically. Very, very, very few games are actually worthwhile. I can only think of one that's decent enough to not deserve to be bashed. I'm not saying it's a fantastic game, I'm not just saying it's decent. And surprisingly, it is an EA game, which is uh, Plants for Zombies 1 and 2. Uh, now, I have the second one on my Android phone, but I didn't pay for it. It was free, of course, so not supporting EA because that's just stupid, but it is a fun little decent type game. But my point is, is with Monster Hunter, or not Monster Hunter, with Capcom uh, and their mobile ideas, they should learn to not do that. They are very low on money. They made a good chunk of money from Monster Hunter 4, and then they blew it all to risk going after the mobile market. Big mistake, Capcom. Big mistake. And in a way, I've seen some people commenting saying, uh, what was it? Maybe Nintendo was wise after all not to go into the mobile market. That wasn't wise, that was just a common sense thing, which even though it's hard to say with Nintendo since they don't seem to have much of it, uh, <laughs> if you're a big company, a big known name in the gaming industry, stay the fuck away from smartphone games. That's only gonna hurt your reputation. Um, I mean, back in the day, what Capcom has been was good, but I mean, what's it been now, five years since that Crapcom insult came along? Anyway, <laughs> the Osaka-based company has reduced its consol er, consolidated net income for profit forecast from its original projection of 6.8 billion yen, which is around 66 million dollars, to 3.3 billion yen, around 32 million dollars. Uh, so, however, Capcom's net sales are due to increase from 97 billion to 101.5 billion yen 
primarily due to strong sales from Monster Hunter 4, which I'm guessing they mean Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate when, or 4G when it comes out this year. Um, Though sales have increased, the mobile market hasn't quite hit the ground running, and Capcom has suffered a significant special loss of 5 billion yen from setting aside post-business structural improvement expenses, which was that new uh, studio, uh, to reorganize the product development framework and improve development processes. A small section of the official statement from Capcom can be found below. Now, I'm not going to read all that, but um, either way. So what was that they lost? Uh, 5 billion yen... Well, if 6.8 billion is about 66 million, what would that be? You subtract 1.8 billion yen. I don't know. What would that be? 60 million yen or something? No, a little bit less than that. 55 million dollars? I don't know. Either way, that is a huge loss for a company like Capcom. Not It wouldn't have been in the old days, but now it is, seeing as they are still, like I said, very low on money. Um... And honestly, it's it's such a simple solution that's been said not by just me, but other people over the years. Even though Capcom de will deny it, Mega Man is what would help them out dramatically. It would save them. Mega Man Legends 3 alone. I just don't understand, along with a lot of people, you should stick with where the money is, Capcom. You made money with Monster Hunter 4 on the 3DS. Then you take that money and you went and threw it towards smartphones, an area you've never been in before, and it's an unpredictable and a very risky uh, area to go into. But that's what you wanted to do, and now you're paying for it. So what else is there really to say other than it was a stupid move, uh, and they should just go back to focusing on the 3DS, uh, bring back Mega Man Legends 3, just make fucking Mega Man. That simple. And I've seen more people say, well, quick, Nintendo, while well, they're failing here, capitalize and, and buy Capcom. If they did, yeah, that would be a very solid buy from Nintendo, just to own Mega Man, uh, and maybe, who knows. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they would actually... I can't see Nintendo giving permission to actually build a brand new Mega Man game, just because, uh, even if they owned it, just because, you know, if it's not Mario, they don't want to have any interest in making it. Um, although I could still see them funding the rest of the uh, Mega Man Legends 3 to be finished up. Anyway, <laughs> um, I guess that's about going to do it for this video. Point was that just Capcom still is going down, uh, <laughs> so we'll see how their fortunes go. Obviously, they will indeed make uh, a solid profit off Monster Hunter 4G or 4 Ultimate for North America. And hopefully we can get Frontier G over uh, in North America on the Wii U as well. So, I'm Original Blood Ace. As always, stay tuned. More videos coming soon. I have one more video to do.